Hello, good morning. You are welcome to another edition of uh, Import Export Platform Facebook Live from 3 to Press Jura Academy. And we continue our conversation on why I feel Nigerian uh, state are billionaires in dollars. This is the seventh edition of this program, and we've been talking about the fact that what Nigerian state needs to do is for the government to take responsibility for the development of their state by ensuring that at the end of the day, they are able to unnerve the potential of the state. And we are looking at it now from the export perspective. I'm in transit, so you might be hearing some noise at the background, so pardon me, um, because I'm in transit and I still want to ensure this is done today, so at the end of the day, we don't have anything outstanding, because I'm still going to do another session in the evening when I get to my destination. Nigerian business are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian business have everything it takes to be able to solve its problem, to be able to make all the money they need to make to help the state grow. So when the Nigerian state governor is saying they don't have money, what he's trying to say that we are not hearing very well is that he likes ideas. What the governor is trying to say that we are not hearing very well is that he can't do the job. What the governor is trying to say that we are not hearing very well is that that governor is, does not deserve that position because every state in this country have everything it takes for it to be the best of all. Every state. And I mean every state. What is it that you are looking for that you won't find in most of the state? So an export is something we really need to take seriously, only that we also need to build capacity to be able to ensure that is well done. Yesterday evening I was talking about cocoa. The fact that Nigeria is one of the largest producers of cocoa in the world, but unfortunately, the southwestern state that produce cocoa, some of them are find difficult to pay salary. A lot of roads are bad. A lot of projects are undone because these states are relying on what Abuja can give as the source of sustenance. I don't understand how that will work. You know, I was analyzing the state yesterday, the state and then my uh, Oshun state. And even though Oshun's IGR is about one third of the total any, and the Kiti state is about one six or one seven of the total any IGR, but you know what? These two states are major, are major uh, have um, climate for cocoa to, hand, for, to handle cocoa. And cocoa is a $9.35 billion. $9.35 billion. So, pardon me of the noise you are hearing at the background, I'm at the airport, so you'll be hearing them announcing the destination of different locations, so pardon me for that. $9.35 billion for Coco, and the state cannot take advantage. Even if it's $100 million, you can take there, or $200 million, you can grab there. There are so much each state in Nigeria have to offer. There's so much they can do that they've refused to do, and because of the poverty of ideas because of the poverty of ideas. And what we are trying to do through this platform is to throw out all these ideas necessary for their growth so that they can begin to think the way they need to think. And we believe strongly that that will help them to be able to achieve the desired growth that they need to achieve. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Almost every product that are exportable in the world, Nigerians can produce among the top 10 producers. And what that's basically telling you is that if we are among the by sheer effort of farmers, without any serious support from government, these states are able to produce this much, imagine what will happen. Like I said in the last two episodes, Nigerian farmers are largely peasant. More than 70% of them are peasant. Most of our harvest Most of our product pent are post harvest losses, and we have not used up to half of our arable land. Um, with all this, these are supposed to be shortcomings, right? But do you know that despite this shortcoming, Nigeria is among the top producer of cashew nuts in the world. Among the top, when I mean top producer, top three, top four, top five vary every year. Among the top producer of cashew nuts in the world. Among the top producer of just like cocoa. And this cashew also, you can find it in the southwestern Nigeria. I'm trying to check some of those states. 
you can find in southwestern Nigeria. So when you look at some of these products and the potential Nigeria have to produce this product, then you begin to ask yourself, what exactly is the problem that this country has? Why is it that this product, this, this product, even though we have so much potential for it, but we are not exploring it? So, for example, if you look at Kashinot, from Oyo State to Kwara State to Kogi State to FCT to Nazarawa State to Edo State to even some part of Ogun State, you will see, you will see that they all have potential for cashing up. They all have potential for cashing up. So the question you ask yourself is, if most of the southwestern states, middle best states, have the potential for cashing up, why is it that they are not looking at exporting cashing up? Why is it that it's on the back burner in every plan they have? Why is it that nobody is thinking about it? Why is it that it's been left untouched? Because nobody is planning for it. It's only anything you see in terms of volume of export from Nigeria on Cashew Nut, they are all effort of farmers. They are all effort of farmers. I'm trying to get the figure now. Cashew Nut, 6.8 billion dollars. Cashew Nut, 6.8 billion dollars. Cashew Nut, 6.8 billion dollars produ production i mean export market 6.8 billion dollar export market cocoa 9.35 cashew nuts 6.8 billion dollar so a state cannot grab 50 percent of the i mean 50 50 million dollars i'm not even it's just 50 million dollars i'm not even saying a huge percentage of it <laughs> if nigeria had been among the top 10 as a result of default if Nigeria has been among the top 10 as a result of default effort, default, default being that no serious calculated deliberate effort, the trees, a number of them are growing wild, they've been planted many years ago, the people that planted them have died, their children have died, these probably grandchildren that is owning it, and they are the ones selling those cash notes. The state government in those states, instead of thinking of legacy to build for the state, so they can say, okay, why I was governor in my state, this is what I did to be able to ensure that the state generates enough revenue. Most are busy waiting for Abuja to send money. And unfortunately, if Abuja is unable to send money, or for one reason or the other, money is not coming at the expense from Abuja, that state become, I mean, the state become incapacitated. The state become incapacitated and the state will be unable to do what it's supposed to do. And I said, that should not be right. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. Is it cash you, know you want to talk about? You know, later on, I'm going to go from state to state. And I'll be analyzing different products in the state. And what this state can do with that product. But currently now, I'm looking generally about the fact that Nigerian states have all it takes to be successful. Nigerian states have all it takes to, su to succeed. Nigerian states are billionaires in dollars. What we need to do is to begin to see how to harness those potentials. If you can send this video, if you can share this video with your friends, with your colleagues, maybe to get some of those people in the position of authority, in the position of power, to be able to help these efforts do this. Because you can't say you have human beings in your state. You can't say you have lands that can be cultivated in your state. You can't say you have mineral resources under the soil in your state and the people are languishing in, poly, in, in poverty. That's just fulfilling what the Holy Rich says. Much food is in the tillage of the poor. Kogi State have cash not. Kogi State have cash not. Kogi State, Kogi State have coal. Kogi State have iron. Kogi State is one of the most blessed states in Nigeria. Can't you see that Dangote went to set up Obajana cement there. If it doesn't have potential for them to get the raw material they need for cement, why would Dangote go and set up cement factory there? One of the biggest cement factories you'll find in Nigeria and probably in this part of the world is Obajana cement and it's there in Kogi State. And the state government are still unable to create jobs for their people. To see how they can partner with Dangote to set up another cement 
managed by Dangote, but with the state government having a high huge stake in it, or another factory entirely using the raw material available in the state. So, Kogi State is, I mean, it's just unfortunate, really. I, I, each time I think about this, I say, okay, fine. Instead of just complaining, 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 can we begin to put out content and information out there so that people know that, look, Nigerian state have what it takes. Nigerian state are currently, I mean, Nigerian, Nigerian state are currently the major producer of some commodity in the world. And this commodity is a commodity, but Nigerian state have not explored this opportunity. Nigerian state have not explored this opportunity. And inability to explore this opportunity we meet who are trying to so they are able to use them to patronize the evil act. Why? They are able to get that done simply because the government have refused to do what he needs to do. If these youth are engaged, if these youth are engaged, if these youth are engaged, I can assure you we won't have the issue we are having. There won't be a tool. You know, someone said an idle hand is devil's workshop. An idle hand is devil's workshop. Because an idle hand is devil's workshop, that is why our insecurity in Nigeria is this much. How do you expect a country with, you know some countries, if you check their demography, they are even allowing people to come into their country, as in they are allowing migrants to come in and they ensure they limit the age so that young people can come in, people that are in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s, so that they can give birth and have a lot of new immigrants in their country to add value as a working class. Because the labor force is, is shrinking. The labor force is shrinking. Why? Because either the people are not married, or they are marrying and gay right, lesbian, and they are not giving birth as expected. But we have this huge energy of youth, and we are not exploring it, and the politicians have, take, have taken advantage of it, and they have given, they have, the devil has give, have used the politicians to give these people something else to do. Because that energy must be channeled. That energy must be channeled. If that energy is not channeled, there's no, if you'll be amazed. Sorry, just give me some minutes. Sorry, there's someone that is trying to reach me. Oh, sorry, I needed to respond to someone that was trying to call me and it's been disrupting my conversation on Facebook. Uh, because he needed to give me something at the airport and you know but i need to do what i need to do so i can't interrupt this and it's been interrupting with calls so sorry for the break in transmission i have to get across to them that i will get back to them now what am i trying to say i'm trying to say basically that look we have whatever it takes to be able to even solve the problem in nigeria today most of the problem insecurity we have in nigeria is basically because the energy of the youth have been deployed negatively because the governors have refused to deploy the energy of the youth positively. They are only interested in themselves, in their pocket, most of them. And we see this eventually, they leave office and EFC begin to chase them up and down. Now we have a new set of governors. I'm hoping they will take a cue from what is happening right now and begin to do what they need to do. And what am I saying they need to do? Harness. See how you can export. See how you can... You know, how you can tap into the energy of the youth to do what you need to do to achieve what you need to achieve. Nigerian state are billionaires in dollars. Don't let anybody deceive us, telling us that they don't have money. They have all it takes for them to do what they need to do. What they've not done is to take advantage of the opportunities. Can someone help us to forward this message to the Nigerian state governor that Nigerian state are not poor? Can someone forward this to state Gogi State Governor that Cashew Nut in Kogi State is worth six point eight billion dollars, and that Kogi State can just take make up his mind to plant the trees and begin to farm the and, and when I say Governor should do it, they don't need to do it directly. You know, when I'm finishing this, maybe at April to forty or fifty, I'll be talking about my strategy. I'm talking about my strategy 
or what I think needs to be done. I'm talking about my strategy or what I think needs to be done. If this is done, you can be amazed, you'll be amazed at what Nigerian state can achieve if this is done. Why this has not been done is because either the governor are like ideas, they have the wrong people around them, or they are not even seen. You know, you need to understand the fact that you don't see with your eyes, you see with your mind. You don't see with your eyes, you see with your mind. The eye of a wise man is in his head. <laughs> the eye of a wise man is in his head. The eyes of a wise man is in his head. The eyes of a wise man is in his head. You don't see with your eyes, you see with your mind. And in seeing with your mind means that what you are going to be seeing is going to be based on what is possible. Not what, in fact, if all you see is what you see, essentially you are blind. If all you hear is what you hear, essentially you are deaf. That means you cannot see beyond your nose. That means you cannot see beyond what that which meets the eye. You know what? If all you see is all you see, you are blind. How do you see beyond what you see? Think with your mind. How do you see beyond what you see? Think with your mind. Think with your mind. How do you think? Acquire knowledge, have understanding first. Acquire knowledge, have understanding first. If you are devoid of knowledge and understanding, you will not be able to think. When you think, you actually process data. When you think, you 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 process data. The deeper the database in your mind, the greater the quality of thought. The bigger the database of your mind, the greater the quality of thought. The smaller the database of your mind, the poor the quality of thought. The smaller the database of your mind, the poor the quality of thought. If you want to have great thought, if you want to think and find solution to problem, then you must be given to studying, you must be given to learning. You must be given to studying, you must be given to learning. If you are not given to studying and learning, it will be tough. And that's why a number of our governors or people surrounding them, they are not able to do what they need to do. Why? Poverty of ideas. Okay, I need to be sure I'm hearing myself. Poverty of ideas. Poverty of ideas is a major challenge. Poverty of ideas is a major challenge. The question is this. How much do you know? How much have you learned? As, as far as the business I'm talking about is concerned, and as far as export is concerned, I strongly believe one of the ways a state can make money, one of the ways a state, among other things, is to and create job and create job is to engage the energy of the youth get them to produce for the state get your people to produce for you buy of them at a profit pay them off and export it if you don't have money to pay them off give them a guarantee export the product when you get paid you pay back your people Engage the energy of the youth of your state to produce for the state. Stop complaining you don't have money. Stop complaining you don't have money. You have money, you have much more than you can even imagine. You are, because, you know, another thing is, don't think that money is cash. Cash is a type of money. So when the state governor say I don't have money, he actually is saying, what he's saying you're not hearing is that we don't have cash. But they have money because economics told us that money is a medium of exchange if you understand what that statement means you won't go after cash again money is a medium of exchange if you understand what that statement means you will never lack number one because you will never chase cash you will begin to chase real money which is an intangible 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 money is intangible real money is intangible in fact 
the more the intangible money you possess, and you know what? Our state have humongous amount of intangible money. Our state have humongous amount of intangible money. So the question is, why are they not exploring it? Poverty of ideas. <laughs> why are they not exploring it? Poverty of ideas. That's why instead of complaining, we say, okay, fine. Can and share and share and share with their friends in government, with their, with their friends in government, with their community in government, colleagues in government, to be able to see this. We look, this video needs to go out. We, we this part, episode seven, we are probably going to episode 40 or 50. This episode seven, and I'm saying Nigerian state have whatever it takes to be billionaires that say because they work for state government. I will need to go now because I'm having a lot of a lot of interruption because so many calls are trying to come in i'll continue in the evening when i get to my destination thank you very much for listening my name is dela but this import export platform facebook live from 3t impress trade academy remember this video is on our youtube channel 3t impress tv please please visit that youtube channel like the video share the video drop your comment and please subscribe to the channel see you in the evening and thank you very much for listening bye for now